How's it going guys? And welcome back to another ASMR gaming video In tonight's ASMR gaming video we are going to be going back to my childhood on a trip down memory lane and I have a very special extra long gaming video for you guys and that is because tonight we are going to be playing some cool maps games now for those of you who don't know what cool maths games is it's basically an online gaming website that has a whole bunch of cool games. Not all of them are related to maths despite the name of the website, but quite a few of them are and at least in tonight's video some may have some maths or some problem solving or just some tedious and fun games in this video. And so I will tell you my plan because there's loads of games to play, so I'll tell you my plan in a wee moment. But before we get into these games, tonight's video idea does come in from Golden Ticket. Golden Ticket. 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 Who said, day one of asking Dido for Go Maths games. And bro, you didn't even need a game to. From the number of likes you got, I knew I had to play it. I had to try some Go Maths games. And so thank you for the idea, and that's what we're going to be doing tonight. If you guys do enjoy tonight's video, be sure to let me know by dropping a big thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy games or ASMR, then why not subscribe? That's exactly what we're about here, and it would mean the world to me. So anyways, my plan for tonight's video. So... There are so many games on Google Maths games, but I couldn't pick just one game to play. So in tonight's video, we are going to be playing four, that's right, four of my favorite Google Maths games from my childhood. And these four games are going to be Barking Mania 2048. Boxers and run three and my plan is with these four games that you can see with the timestamps below we are going to play each game for about 15 minutes and see how far we can get within those 15 minutes in each game and that way you know we have a nice one hour long video for you guys it's divided up evenly and also you guys can give these games a go in your own time. Spend 15 minutes trying them and let me know if you got further than I did. So I think without further ado, we'll jump into the first game, which will be Barking Mania. And we'll just go from there, but it should be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this ASMR gaming video. So before we get into game number one tonight, I just want to quickly let you guys know that this here is Go Maths Games. Um, likely it is. If you're watching this, you know you've probably heard of Go Maths Games. But if you've not, I will link it in the description. You know, feel free to play these games on this website. This is non-sponsored. It's just such a classic game that we used to play in school all the time. Or a classic website we'd play games on all the time in school. And I'm very, very excited to play all four games tonight but let me just stop talking because we're about to get about 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 to get into game number one which is gonna be barking mania so let me get that all set up and we'll get started okay so barking mania basically is a game where you as you can tell i've got to park a car i'm trying to you know not explain it too too slow because the 15 minutes has started um we gotta try and park a car 
using the arrow keys into a particular parking space and we just need to make sure that our car fits within the little space as you can see and we don't want to be crashing into any walls or any other cars so let us just get started now as you can see instructions use the arrow keys to control the car now don't worry we're gonna make this full screen I believe it has a full screen feature so we'll turn that on I will turn sound off to let you guys hear the game audio but let's get started okay so level one we have to try and park this little red car if I remember the up arrow key moves the car forward the back arrow key moves it backwards left moves the tires to the left and right moves them to the right as you would have guessed now we want to try and fit the car within this white box you can see it's quite a big first space there we go we made it so we're on to level two now now i'm not going to demonstrate it because um well, well i just i don't want to crash but if i was to crash into any of like these obstacles up here or these cars or this wall yeah it wouldn't be ideal because we would lose and um that's not what we want to see so let's try and um i need to hide my mouse from you guys that'll have to do because if i move it off it starts to glitch but we need to just slide the car in nice we're not getting any time bonuses i mean this is an ASMR video, so I am not planning on, you know, speed running anything tonight. I mean, although we're doing 15 minutes per game, my plan is just to see how far we can get, so this should be nice and satisfying. Level cleared. And oh no, we're on to level four, and we have some parallel parking. Parallel parking. Parallel the wrong way parallel parking now fun fact i actually have not learned to drive yet i say yet in real life um oh that's close and then we we'll strain the wheels very nice um and honestly the only reason i haven't learned to drive is because i haven't felt the need to yet you know i live pretty much near everything i need to do um you know I don't really need to leave the house for my, my work or my, my university studies. Uh, work being, you know, just making videos for you guys and other little tasks. So, if you think that, you know, I might be controlling the car not the most optimal way, it's probably because I cannot drive, I, I, well, not can drive, but I, I don't, so. I feel like I would be a pretty good driver. Parking is always something that's been, uh, well, I've always thought looks quite tricky, so. Was this level six? Now, you know what, we're going to definitely complete this in 15 minutes, I can tell you guys that. Um, but now we want to go in that little top right space. Let's see if we can do that. I don't want to crash into the wall. So we've got to be very careful. Making sure that the entire car. Okay, apparently that counted as being parked. <laughs> I don't see how I don't see how that was. Alright, let's turn the corner here very nicely. I know I'm not moving the car, you know, nice and smoothly, but it's tricky, it's tricky, okay. So I always remember when you approach your parking space, it's quite nice to go out a little bit to give you a bigger turning circle to turn into the space, you know, like this. And then I think it's like when the front of your car gets in line with the, the car next to use wing mirrors. That's when you want to straighten out. So now we want to straighten out and then we can turn again and perfect. Worked out very nice. And we're on to level 8. No, level 8, oh goodness. Here, they're really trying to make us crash, so you know what I'm going to do. Oh, it's a tight space, isn't it? I'm going to come to the middle of the map. 
and I'm gonna just line up and try and get my car, my little red. Looks a bit like a mini, doesn't it? It looks like a mini. I'm gonna try and straighten it up in line as best as possible. As best as possible, 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 possible. Oh, look at that. A little to the left. There we go. That should be good. Just make sure we don't overdo it and don't crash into the wall. And there we go. Level 8 is done. And we are on to level 9 now. Another parallel parking one. Okay, looks pretty similar to the one before. Maybe it's... Is it a tighter space or is it because, you know, we got a bigger... A bigger car in here. I don't know. Either way. Let's see if we can parallel park. Oh, I don't think I've come in at the best angle here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe redo this. Let's come back out. We'll come back a bit more. There we go. That looks better. I don't... Oh, this is tricky, actually. This one here, I think I need to get closer. Um, in line with this car, like that. And then start to reverse in. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. Is Dido gonna crash? Oh. It's so close. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. That's not gonna... Nope, we're nearly, nearly there. Dido Pro Parker. Pro Parker. Parker, Parker, Parker. That is so close. Come on, please tell me this counts. Please tell me this counts as being in the space. It's got to. It's. Oh my goodness. Level 10. Is, is this the last level? I don't even know. Either way, imagine we just complete this first go. And, and then we don't... We don't need to give it another go. We just completely nail it. I don't know if level 10 is the last one. But if it is, this does look pretty tough. What? How on earth are you meant to do this? I actually don't know how I can get in there without crashing. We need to get even closer to this wall, which isn't nice. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please, please. No. Oh my goodness. What on earth is that? That looks. How on earth are we going to complete this? Right. I think play again takes you back to level one. Oh no, guys. Well, maybe now we can go for a little speed run. <laughs> Try and get back because I would love to complete level 10 for you guys. So let's try and be a bit more speedy. Speedy, speedy, speedy. In this second run here. I really should have streamed this. This would be such a fun, you know, type of video to stream. Maybe I gotta stream this one night. Potentially this week that you're watching this. And, oh yeah, so the level, this level here is similar to the other one. But I think the space is bigger and the cars are smaller on this one. So yeah, maybe I stream this one night. And we can play all sorts of games on the website because there's so, so many. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite Go Maths games game was. Alright, get in the space. Get in the space. Very nice. Level 6 now, is it? Yup. Yup, 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 yup. I don't know how or if we are going to be able to do level 10. And who even knows if we're going to be able to get to it again within the 15 minutes. 
right, let's go around this corner. I love how they only added, like, three, four cars into this game. So, like, everyone has the same car. <laughs> That's funny. But we are the only owner of what looks to be a red mini. So, that was a good parking there from me. Let's do the same method we did last time. We'll try and line up nice and straight. And try and just head straight down. That looks good to me. Go nice and steady into it, dear. Nice and steady, 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 steady. Perfect. I mean, the back of our car was kind of hanging out. But we move on to the second last level again, level 9. Oh, this one was a tough one, wasn't it? I remember. We were very close to crashing quite a few times. I think with this one it's a matter of just finding the angle to go in at. Have we got it? I don't know. I think we've got it maybe. Oh, it's close. It's close. I don't want to crash into that wall. Let's just slowly pivot our way around. Doing literally like a, a 20 point turn here. Come on, please. Please count. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't count. No way, surely. Oh, I swear my car is touching that car behind us. But the game didn't recognize it. Oh my goodness, we literally avoided so much right there. I don't think I deserve to be back on level 10. I really don't. <laughs> but we got away with that one there. Right, I've had another idea. Let's try reverse into this space if we can't go into it with the front in first. Let's reverse into this space. Sometimes you know you gotta try reversing. If going in with the front of the car first is not gonna work for you. So let's give this a go. Come on, please. Please be the method we need to do. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. It's looking... Oh. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press forward. And I pressed backwards. No, we've got like a minute left. There's no way I can get back to level 10. Surely not. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh, no. I would have loved to have completed this for you guys. But I've joked in the last minute. Oh no. You already know you're going to see some Dido face spam emojis in the comments. <laughs> By the way, if you are a member of the channel, you get so many cool perks. <laughs> such as custom emojis to use in the comment section. And I just added a Dido face spam emoji, so I'm expecting to see quite a few of them from the members. But I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to make it back to level 10. Yep, we got 20 seconds left. And we're on level 5. Come on. I feel like I have to give it one more go. But that would be cheating. Look at me go now, though. I'm getting back there so quick. We got like five seconds. No. 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 Damn it. Game one done. Parking Mania. That was a whole load of fun. That was so much fun. All right. So for our next game tonight, you can see we are playing 2048. 
and if you don't know what 24D8 is, I will quickly explain it as we cut into our 15 minutes. But basically, this is a really easy and simple game where you start off with a grid that's 4x4. It will remain at that size. And using the up, down, left, and right arrow keys, you can shift everything over to, to that side. So for example, if I was to click the left arrow key, all my numbers, you can see I currently only have two numbers. I have a four and I have a two. If I was to click left, they would all go straight to the left until they either touch the wall, so this wall here, or they are stopped by another number. Now, every time we move, a new number will spawn in, and this will generally either be, you know, a 2 or a 4. Now, as we combine things, so as you can see, if I move this left again, that 2 that was previously here is now right above this 2. If I click down next, everything will go down to the bottom, but get stopped by the next number. So, because we have two numbers the same side by side, if I press down, those twos will merge into four, like so. And as you can see, I get four added on to my score. And again, here, if I press down, you'll see these two fours will combine, and these two twos will combine to give me eight and four, respectively. Now, of course, this will always, you know, um, multiply or, or add by the same one, so it'll go 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, multiplying, you know, by 2 each time. And after 64, you got 128, you got 256, you got 512, then you get 1024, and then you get 2048, if you can make it that far. And the aim of the game is, you know, not to lose by letting all the numbers fill up on the screen so that you cannot move. And I guess you'll kind of pick it up as we go. Now, unfortunately, this game doesn't have a dark mode, so hopefully it's not too bright. But let's go now. I remember playing this game, and I think the tactic I always had was try and keep your biggest number, your biggest number in the bottom left and try and stack them up going to the right. So next biggest number here, then here, then here, then above, and kind of go in a snake serpentine format almost. So um, it'll go a snake around like this, and then uh, that way, you know, when you're combining things, it makes it a lot e easier. So we'll move to the left here to move that four. Now I'm gonna have to move to the right and, oh, see, if I move down here, that four will go into the bottom left. I can stop it by doing this, though. Let's see. Eek, maybe I go like this. Oh, no, that two. It's fine, though. We can easily get it back. You can see. There we go. We got 16 now. Let's combine those twos in the top left by putting it down. Down again. I guess I'll fill up this bottom with the 8. We'll go down again. Down. Then see, left to get two eights. Two eights make 16. Now I'm going to go down here to combine those 8s as well. Because if I go 16 there, I can make this 32. And now I have the second highest number where I plan to put it. And watch this, by the way, if I go right and down. Oh, how satisfying is that? I feel like this game is really satisfying when you build up the numbers. And it's also fun, you know, because it's maths themed, perfect for the video, and uh, really chill. So we'll just play this, you know, for another 10 minutes and see how far I can get and have a bit of a chat. Because, oh, we got our first 64. Let's go. We are like, what, one? Trying to do some quick maths. 
we're, I, I can't be bothered working out. We're like one eighth of the way there, maybe, I think. Um, no, one sixth of the way there. No, I don't know. Let's um, just keep combining, I guess. Right, I want to get that eight down here. But that two that's next to the 64. There we go. It was going to be a pain. But I think we've fixed it. There we go. We got a 32. Nice. If we could get ourselves there. Perfect. Now all we have to do is try and get this 16. Yes. Right above the other one. And we can get our first 128. Lovely. And it's yellow. So that's really good to see. But oh no. Here I cannot move down. I cannot move left. So I have to move right or up. If I move right. We risk something spawning in the bottom left. Which we don't want. But either way. You know if I move up as well. We're equally as likely. Um, actually we're. We're more than likely going to get another one spawn across the bottom if I go up. So I should probably go right here. Right. Okay, we got away with it. Let's go left. Keep this same strategy that we got going. Oh, I didn't mean to go left there, but we got away with it. I kind of want to risk going down. Okay, there we go. Nice. Let's fill this up. Find some of these. Let's see if we can get those 16s. Oh, I didn't mean to go right. Nearly did what I did with Barking Mania there. <laughs> that wouldn't have been great. Let's combine all this. And then as your bottom one gets filled up, because we're going in a snake format, I now want this to be the next highest number, which it is with an 8. So now I want to aim to get another 8 here. So we've got to try and do that. And there we go. And now, we're about to get a 2, 5, 6. Are you guys ready for this? We go. Amazing. Amazing. And we're halfway through. So now, you know, we can just start to speed up. Things have become, or are making a lot more sense. And I hope you guys have picked up on how, how we're playing this and the strategy I'm going with. And I think we'll just keep this up because this is a nice little strategy um, that we got going. So let's... Oh no, I've got stuck. I have to move up. Alright, as long as it doesn't spawn in the bottom left. Ideally, we want the new one to spawn down here. Let's see where it spawns. Okay, that isn't as bad. I'll move back down. We've messed up the 64. But we'll try and get it back. We need to somehow get... Oh gosh, have I messed up? I think I might have messed up, you know. Am I gonna lose? Okay, no, we can recover this. So instead of going along the bottom now, we'll make the next biggest number here. So now we're going to snake around like this, I think. Yeah. But. That do is a bit annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh no, oh no. I've messed up entirely. Oh, oh, we've definitely lost. We've definitely lost. Guys, I am so sorry. Well, <laughs> hopefully we can recover because they're only small numbers. As opposed to, you know, late game. Clutch. Clutch. Oh my goodness, right. Let's try and get these 16s together somehow. Okay. 2, 4, 8, 2. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 
I need to get that 64 down to that other one. Okay. Okay, that's good. How can I move that 128 to the other 128? I need to somehow try and get this. Yes! I've actually just straight up recovered it. That is incredible. And we're right back to here. Back to our bottom left tactic. Tactic, 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 tactic. This is so chill. I love this. Especially compared to Bargain Mania, you know. I've not got any pressure. Well, I do because I really want to get 24d8 for you guys. Or as close as I can to 24d8. In 50 minutes, maybe you guys are trying this out. I believe this game has an app on the phone as well. So if you get this on your phone, you know, you can give it a go. Let me know uh, the biggest score that you can get. The greatest score, I should say. Nice, I'm doing pretty good. It does get quite repetitive when you're trying to get the big numbers. Okay, we're actually almost halfway to 2048. Um, I had to put that 2 in the bottom right, but it's okay. It's now an 8. Now a 16. Um, 1632. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. We got away with it, luckily. Um, 8. I'm going to have to go right here. We got about 3 minutes left. I don't know if we're going to get 2048, guys, but we'll see, we'll see. How do I get those 32s together? I do not know. Okay, that'll have to do. That's okay. Okay, okay. Okay. This is okay. Um, however, we're still not even halfway. So I don't know. I don't know if we can get it. I'm kind of just hoping for the best at this rate. There's probably, you know better tactics than the one that I've gone for. Oh. No. No, that 16 is stopping us. Oh. Oh my goodness, I thought we had lost. We nearly lost right there. I need these 16s to combine. And now I need those 32s to combine. Alright, screw the tactic. We're risking it. Yes, we got halfway. We're halfway. <laughs> um, I'm definitely not doing this efficiently anymore as I try and get a last minute high score. I feel like I definitely could have got more if I didn't spend so long explaining it. I feel like it's quite an easy game to understand. And I apologize if you guys were just sat there like, get on with it, Dido. Um, oh boy, this ain't looking good. Okay, we recovered. We recovered. Oh no, 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 I messed up. I think I messed up. Oh no. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be game over. Game over. Gosh damn it, well we scored 10,240, we got 1024, which is halfway to 2048. I definitely think if I played this again, I could get there with some more time, but if you guys gave this a go, please do send me a picture of the highest number you can build, whether you get 2048 or more, send me a picture on Instagram. Dido underscore ASMR link in description and I would love to see how far you guys get but that's that game done let's move on to some blogsaurs and here we go guys time for some blogsaurs 
If you've never played this before, you're surely gonna love this one. This one was by far one of my favorite of all the Go Maths games I played. And I think we'll just start a new game because it teaches us what to do as we go. But I am going to skip the instructions because I feel like I could explain it a lot better and a lot faster. But it is round one, stage one. I think they called it stage one. So as you guys can see, we can use the arrow keys or WASD to move the block around. Now the way the block moves is it will move on this little platform. So if I was to move the right arrow key, the block would fall to the right. So it would topple on the blocks like a two by one by one cuboid. So if I was to move to the right, it would flop onto the right like that basically. If I was to move down, it moves down. If I move up, it rotates up. If I move left or right, it will go up on the edge like that. So you can see there's different ways you can get the block to sort of be orientated. And the aim of the game is to get it to fall down this little hole right here. It's so satisfying when it slots on through and makes that nice sound. And basically, yeah, you don't want to fall off because you see if I go up here, there's no more platforms for me to go on. So the block falls off the end and I get to the start. It's a nice logic-based game where you've got to try and get the block to perfectly. Oh, how good was that? So we move on to level two. Now level two, you can see this time, we have some little things that we need to stand on. If I go on this one here, this bridge appears. Now for the X, if I remember, you can't just lead on that. You actually need to be perfectly stood up on that for it to put out this next bridge. So I think we can just do it like this and then stand up on it and there's the bridge now does this work yep that works and there we go level two we're moving on to level three now um by the way spoilers there's the passcodes if you ever want to skip to the level that i'm on <laughs> i guess that's maybe cheating right Let's go on through here. So that's not going to work. We're going to want to be standing up or lying down like that. That also works. How am I going to do this though? Oh, that's a tricky one. How do I do this one? I need to be, oh, there we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Sometimes, you know, it's, you gotta just play a boat with it. It's kind of like that game, Rush Hour. You gotta try and maneuver it around to get it into a new orientation or a new space. Okay, now I do remember this one. So, these little red ones. You cannot be stood upright on it. You have to be lying flat. So you have to have the two by two, the, the two by one side on that. So in order to do that, we need to be standing up on this one and lying flat on this one. So we can do that like this. There we go, now we're stood upright. Now we're flat and we can rotate along this, perfect. And here you can see it kind of makes the outline for you. You can almost just see what you gotta do to complete level four. Stage four, sorry, this is stage five. Now, I have no idea how far we're gonna make it. Um, excuse me. The bridge just went away. There's no other way for me to go on that. Like, I have, I, oh, oh, it comes back. Okay, that's okay. So I'm guessing if I go on this one, Okay, I was expecting a bridge. 
obliged to go there. Um, how do I do this now? Oh, this is tricky. I need to be flat right here. How could I be flat right there? Oh, I can do it like that. There we go. Okay, so the bridge is gone. Can I get it back? No, does this one bring it back? That one brings it back. But that one makes it go away. So maybe we gotta go in that one. Ah, there we go. Okay, now does this just let us go in? No, we're one away. Like this. No, let's see, we wanna be lying flat, stood up. Lying flat, stood up, lying flat, stood up, okay. So there, that should work. Hey, there we go. Stage six. Now I do see it also gives us a total move counter. I'm definitely not doing this the most efficiently. <laughs> but here we've got to try and get it in that one. Let me know if you do try it. How many moves it takes you to do some of the levels. Now I don't know what this whole bit down here is about. Maybe it's to help us get the right orientation here. Because let's think about this. We're going to want to be flat here. Flat here, flat here. Stood up. Flat. 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 Stood up. Flat. But that doesn't work out. So that's going to go stood up. Flat. Stood up. As long as we can just get stood up there. Flat. Stood up there. I do need to use this little bit down here. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Yup. There we go. So now we want to get lying flat here. So flat, stood up. We want to be stood up where my mouse is. How can I do that? Oh, I can do it like this. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Right. Oh, I did it. Sometimes I just get trigger finger and I'm I'm just clicking it too quick. Which obviously I, I shouldn't do. <laughs> so what was it again? It's that one. Okay, let's do it slowly. There we go. No mistakes that time. <laughs> Stage seven. Okay, let's see if we can make it to stage 10. I would be pretty proud if we could make it to stage 10. I want earth am I meant to be stood upright on this one. So upright there means flat there, which means flat there, upright, flat, upright. We gotta get flat on these ones. So like this. And that brings up this extra platform. Is that meant to help us get up to this bit? Oh, I think it might be. Okay, I can't quite see what we're meant to do. And then it 
goes in. Okay, nice. Okay, noted. Noted. Right, let's go along to this. Oh, we need to be stood upright on it. Okay. Okay, maybe here the tactic is to put this one here, then switch to this one so that way, yeah, you can just slide right in. That's good. I like this. I like this little, uh, using one blocks. So I need to be stood up on that right, but let's see. Oops. I pressed the wrong arrow. <laughs> I was going to see if one by ones allow you. They do. So I was going to see if they allow you to go on that, which they do. So let's switch to this, go up on that, and now does that just work? We're a little bit off. Oh no. Oh actually no, that's good. That's good actually. <laughs> that helps us. I didn't even mean to do that, but that helps us a lot. Lovely. Nice, 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 nice. Why is this stage 11 now? Let's go. I got rid of that. That makes me feel like I'm maybe not meant to go on that. Because that bit up there looks pretty important for lying flat. So I think what we've got to do, we've not got long left on this game, we've only got a few minutes. But we've got to try and get it so that we're flat on here, which means flat there, flat there. No, flat there. Flat there. Oh, I'm confused. Flat, standing up. Flat, 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 standing up, flat. We need to be stood upright. Stood upright on the square where my mouse is. No, so how do we do that? Have we got to use other parts of the map like this? Is this meant to help us up? No. Very close, very close, but no cigar. What about this? Does this help? Not quite. Does this help? Nope. Mm, this is a tricky one. I go around here, maybe. Yes. Okay, okay. Then what? What do I do from here? I'm up here now. How do I get there? Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Okay. Stage 12 with just over a minute left. I, I doubt we're going to be able to complete this one, but let's just muck about on it. See how far we can get. Although I have a feeling it's, you know, not going to be particularly far anyways. I think I'm kind of just going round in circles. <laughs> Let's go and try and get this one first then. Or wait, how are you meant to get that one? Maybe I've got to get this one first. Um... Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, no. Um, do I just go down here and muck about down here? Nope. Mm. I need to be flat on these two bits. Oh, like that, like that, that works. Then that gives me that. Okay. Oh. Well. I guess with that done, that's going to bring game three. Block source to an end. That one was so much fun. What did we get to again? Was that stage 12, I think? Stage 13? I don't know. Either way, that was a whole lot of fun. 
let's move on with the last game of the night. Well, 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 guys, here we are at the last game of the video of the night. And what a way to finish off with a little game called Run. Now, Run is going to be maybe a lot easier on the eyes as opposed to 2048. This one's nice and dark because it's set in space. And I think we just have to jump over little um, holes in the ground. We sort of are running through a tunnel almost. And with our little guy, we've got to jump over the holes, get to the end of the level, and rotate around the map as well. There's so many cool things about this game. And as you can see, this is run version 3. So I always remember playing this one. I believe there's older versions, but run 3 is the most up-to-date one. It's the one that I played the most, and we'll give it a go. So, how do we get started? Wants to see everything at least once, and she does mean everything. <laughs> okay, explore mode, maybe. Attention, citizen. This area is restricted for your own safety. Turn around now. Here we go, so we're gonna start jumping over the holes. This kind of looks like an optical illusion. <laughs> but we can run from left to right and we can even go onto the wall. Level 2, okay. So maybe it's like the further you go, the higher the level you get to. I guess. Level 3, okay, okay. Oh, so these ones fall if you stand on them. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is kind of trippy almost. It's kind of like that game, what was it called? Hole in the Wall, I think. That was so much fun. Right to play it safe. I, I feel like jumping is the tactic. Can you jump onto the walls? So if I go like, yeah, you can. Okay. So if I like jump, I could skip parts. That's super cool. Oh, nope. I fell. <laughs> right. I don't know if when I fall... Oops. I did it again. I'm assuming when you fall that it restarts you and puts you back to the start of that level. I would guess so, because otherwise... Oh, oh my goodness. Otherwise that would have been such a long level. Right, level 6. I don't know how long or how many levels there are. But we'll see what level I can get to before the 15 minutes is up or just before the end of the video. And if we do get very stuck, we'll check out. This is explorer mode and there was something... Oops, I just fell straight out into space. <laughs> there was something about infinite mode as well. I don't know. We'll, we'll just take a look at that at some point. But level 7, I'm sure we can get further. Is the room always the same size? I feel like it is. Okay. Yep, jumping is definitely the tactic. Let's see if we can do level 9 without jumping. Wait, where 
is it going? I guess it just follows gravity. Oof. <laughs> oh no. This is like a story mode. Don't give up yet. I have an idea. I think it's stuck. Yeah. Jump. Then what? Oh, that's what. <laughs> this is so funny. Here you go. Thank you. So I don't believe I got your name. No time for that now. I got exploring to do. Choose your character. Oh, can we be either of them? Oh, let's switch to the new person. Oh, the skater. Oh, this is go. Cool. So we're now someone that skates when they're running. <laughs> That's so cool. Level 12. I wonder what level we'll make it to. I know it's it's probably funny you guys watching such a, a retro, low quality game in 60 frames per second. <laughs> this is quite tough to play and look at how long we've been playing for at the same time. Because I've got a little timer up beside me. Oh, no, no. Oh my goodness. Oh. We're so close on that one there. Alright. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. I wonder, can... Oh, no, I was gonna say, could we go off the map? But we can. Oh, my, this one's tricky. This one's very tricky. It's like the, the lighter I tap the up arrow, the smaller the jump is. That's gonna be the tactic. Level at 
has absolutely nothing on it. And we nearly had it as well. Okay, I think I've found a good path. Okay, this one we're kind of just, we've got to just throw ourselves at the tiles. <laughs> just hope we crash into them. Oh my goodness. What? This one is mad. This one is mad. You are kidding me. All right, let's risk going the right side instead. Nah, left is definitely the way to go. Oh. This ain't possible. <laughs> this is mad, this level. Alright, small jump, then big jump, small jump, then big jump, then small jump, then big jump. Come on, please, please. Yes, 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 yes. 27. Okay, that was a bad start. Okay, so I don't know if this bit is meant to be like a bit for you to run on. Oh. I kind of like fell down there and then jumped back up. That was so weird. Did you... Are you guys seeing this? Wait, I nearly fell in that little gold tube. I really want to fall in that gold tube. Because that's got to be the end of it, right? I feel like we're close to completing it. And we've got like a minute left. No. Come on. This is going to be so clutch if we can do it. Come on. Come on. Gold jib. Gold jib. Can I fall in the gold jib? I guess not. I guess level 28 is as far as we're going to make it. I mean, I can probably get 29, but we're going to be out of time. So, guys. That is as far as we're going to make it. Maybe the further you go, the more characters you unlock. Yeah. So what, we went... We went off this way. Not sure when you unlock the next character, but that was so, so much fun. Playing some run. Well, guys, that is just about going to do it for tonight's ASMR. I really hope that you guys
guys did enjoy this nice, long, relaxing Girl Mads Games video. If you did enjoy, then why not show your support by dropping a big thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section what your favourite game was of the video and um, what other games you would like to see me play in the future. But other than that, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Good night, guys.